So YouTubers are leaving this platform. And 95% of what I'm going to talk about right now is not motorcycle related, but I'm going to ask you to please watch this video because I'm very curious about your input. This is going to affect you and it's going to affect me. Now, if you are new to this channel and you have no idea what I'm about, I will put a link to this video right here so you can watch it after this video is complete and you can see what I do as far as motorcycle travel films. But YouTube is changing. I don't know if you guys have realized or caught on to the fact that big name YouTubers are leaving the platform. Now, I get that some of these might be due to uh, their exponential growth and they were able to establish a brand and a business and they're able to do that and I support it. Or is it something else? It's very curious to me because some of the biggest names in YouTube are now leaving or announcing that they are leaving the platform. Now, for me, watching YouTube videos is an entertainment and educational value. And if I can get both in the same video, then that's the perfect video for me. Now, as a filmmaker and a photographer, I've been watching uh, channels like Peter McKinnon and uh, Maddie Hapoya and of course, like Casey Neistat. Now, Casey left the platform a while ago, but he was delivering content to us every single day for more than five years. Now, for some, it might just come to the fact that it's just no longer enjoyable to them and they want to find a different creative outlet. And I totally understand that. But I'm really concerned about what's going to happen down the road and in the future. 2024 will be a complete change. We are seeing something completely different inside the YouTube universe, if you will. I think it's gonna be something that's gonna affect you and it's gonna affect me, and it's so important that we talk about this right now. Now, with the growth of AI lately, uh, I see something coming that I'm really concerned about. I'm gonna give you an example right now. So obviously, for me, doing travel films and, and showing you my experiences and making it cinematic and taking you guys along with me is so important and it's near and dear to my heart. With the development of AI, What's going to happen coming down the road, if it's not happened already, is somebody's going to be creating a YouTube channel in the near future, and they're not going to be doing any of the filming. They're pretty much not going to be doing any of the talking. They're going to be able to type into a computer, uh, make me a travel film with a voiceover covering a motorcycle trip from California to Florida. AI is going to be able to compile all that information, that data, and you are eventually going to be watching a video that wasn't even created by a human being. And for me, this rant includes the fact that this is social media. This is supposed to be where I can interact with you and you with me over a wide variety all the way around the world. But once we start going down that road of is this real or is this fake, that's where things are going to get challenging. YouTube has already announced that they are planning on changing the platform rules and that you're going to have to have AI information tags if you use any type of AI in your videos. This to me is where I think some of these bigger name YouTubers are seeing maybe the that light at the end of the tunnel or maybe the red flag saying, I should probably try to step away now. This is just a theory by me. So in the beginning of the year, Matty Hapoya said that he was going to be leaving YouTube come 2024. He is, in fact, going to be leaving YouTube in the beginning of the year. You look at other even motorcycle creative channels, uh, somebody like Blockhead. Now, Blockhead developed his brand and, and developed a business that he's focused on now, and I applaud him for that. But that content is now, um, I guess, limited. So people are either walking away from the platform altogether or they are taking a huge step back. And it's concerning because now I can only think about what's going to happen down the road, me being a creative and how I'm going to be able to interact with you versus the competition where somebody's just going to be typing a sentence into a computer and that computer is going to generate an entire film. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's got to be concerning to you and it's got to be concerning to me because for you and, and for me, when I'm watching YouTube channels and I'm engaging with those channels, uh, I'm hoping that I'm communicating with somebody on the other side. Or right now, I know that I'm communicating with somebody on the other side. But if that were to change and we start seeing these channels, I mean, think about this. A channel is going to be created in the near future that is going to gain millions of subscribers. That is not even going to be a real person. It's going to be somebody who's very tech savvy that just typed in sentences every week and it created just a top notch video. And don't kid yourself, this is coming. It's not like I'm predicting uh, time travel back in 1988. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? I mean, this is this is happening right now. 
this is going to affect exactly how we consume content in the near future. It's absolutely crazy to me. This is also going to be a concern for future creatives. Uh, people that might be looking at getting into creating videos in the future, they are literally going to be up against AI for your attention. That's going to be a little intimidating for them to get involved in this platform. As hard as this is, as hard as it is to create an audience and engage and interact with people, they are now going to be up against, we all are going to be up against artificial intelligence and AI creating content that we will just consume. I mean, you've seen it already uh, with Photoshop and, and they're even advertising what Photoshop can do uh, during YouTube videos and, and on TV. It is just mind blowing that we have to now decipher for ourselves what's real and what's fake. I think going down the road, this is a very slippery slope, especially for creatives that are into adventure films and for me in motorcycle films on how am I going to compete with AI when it comes down to it creating an absolute blockbuster hit, but it wasn't even that real person. And if somebody's not paying attention, would they actually know? It's important. So what does this mean for you moving forward and for me moving forward? The only thing that I can think about is it's really an important time for you, for me, anybody who consumes YouTube content, that you go and find the creatives that you enjoy and engage with them. Let them know that you're watching, let them know that you're there, leave them a like. If it's my channel, great, appreciate it. But this isn't about me, this is about all creatives out there. So find the ones that you absolutely love, really start to engage with them to keep them motivated. Because you look at somebody like Peter McKinnon who's taken a huge step back from YouTube. Matty Hapoya is all but walking away in 2024. Casey Neistat's come, coming out with you know videos from time to time. Uh, and it's just continuing to go down that cycle. A lot of the bigger name folks are getting out of the platform. And could it be that they're seeing this red flag? I think that it is. So I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Let's engage in a conversation about what you think is going to happen with AI. What does that mean to you? Does it even bother you? Whether you're entertained or not, do you care if it's a real person? Because that's going to affect me as a creative if you don't care. Now, there's a lot of things that I have to accept in this world, especially being a creative and, and advancing in technology, that you have to keep up with the times. I will tell you, AI is not one that I'm going to jump on board with. On this channel, I do not want to ever use AI for anything that I'm possibly doing because that really is taking away what I am passionate about the most, which is being a creative. And for me, typing a sentence into a computer that creates a full-blown 20-minute documentary without filming a single frame, to me, I feel like I would be slighted. It would take away that creativeness that I absolutely enjoy doing, and people are gonna do it, folks. Don't kid yourself, it's gonna happen. And we will see in the near future that there are channels making millions of dollars a year because people are engaging with this content and the person isn't doing any of it. All they're doing is typing in a simple sentence, maybe a paragraph, and AI is going to create that video for them. Now, I'm really curious about what your thought process is on AI and how it affects how you're going to watch YouTube, specifically maybe in the motorcycle niche, but this is gonna affect all niches. This is gonna be cooking channels, any type of travel channel, uh, everything all the way around is gonna be affected by AI. Where that creative really wasn't creating anything, but you thought that they were, you're gonna be watching, you're gonna be engaging, we're gonna be paying them money and it's not even gonna be a real person. It is now more important than ever for you to reach out and engage with the content creators that you enjoy. It doesn't cost you anything besides a little bit of time, but you're already there watching their videos, like their videos, comment on their videos, share their videos, so that they will continue to be inspired. Because my fear is, eventually, we're all just gonna kinda go away. And it's weird to think about that. That's almost like a total recall type of thing. But eventually, we're all gonna be going away because we're not going to be able to compete with AI creating daily content that's really not real. Now, one of the things that I look at the silver lining, because there always is one, I do believe that later on down the road, I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime, but later on down the road, photography and videos that were created by humans in a real experience 
or a real photograph with no AI is going to be a priceless piece of art. So for me, I'm going to continue to create. You don't have to worry about that. I enjoy the creative process. I enjoy filming and editing and bringing that to you guys, hopefully for you to enjoy. But this is an important topic and I would love to hear your comments down below. So I apologize for this rant. It's something that I don't typically do. I thank you for watching and getting this far. Folks, until next time, you guys ride safe, you be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.